Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on the iModel Composition Server for PDF. In this lesson, you will convert an AutoCAD STB or a CTB to a MicroStation TBL for use in the iModel Composition Server. An AutoCAD STB or CTB are types of plot styles which can control the way your objects print in AutoCAD. A CTB is a plot style table that has a list of colors. When you change the settings for that color, it controls how everything in the drawing with that specific color will print. An STB is a name style table, and this plot style has a list of style names. You can make as many styles as you want and then apply them either to a layer or directly to an object. However, when plotting AutoCAD files with the ICS for PDF product, you must remember that MicroStation is the print engine. Although MicroStation can use either a CTB or an STB when plotting, there might be subtle differences in the output, which might require some minor adjustments to the resymbolization file. This will require that we convert these files into a MicroStation TBL for editing purposes. During this lesson, you will learn how to convert an AutoCAD STB or CTB to a MicroStation TBL. When using pen tables, you will define how to alter the printed appearance of elements, determine the printing order of elements, and specify text string substitutions. In this exercise, you will convert an AutoCAD STB or CTB to a MicroStation TBL. Once you've logged into your ProjectWise data source, let's navigate to Projects, our specific work area folder, P202134. We'll go into the 01 Design folder, Roads, Drainage and Highway Engineer, and select Sheets. You can either right click and choose open or double click the highway 72 underscore cross sections shape DGN. Now you can open this file either with any platform product such as Open Roads, but I'll be opening mine with MicroStation Connect. Once MicroStation is loaded, let's go to File, Print. Print. This opens the traditional MicroStation print dialog. Our objective here is really simple. We just want to go to Resymbolization and attach a pen table. Once the Project Wise dialog opens, we'll use the pull down to find our CTB or STB files for AutoCAD. If we click into the System Admin folder, Plotting, Pen Tables. We can select either the CTB or STB. So why don't we start with the AutoCAD CTB? Simply highlight it and click Open. You can choose the Edit option here, either with the pencil or go to Resymbolization and choose Edit Pen Table. This would give you all the methods for editing this particular AutoCAD CTB with the MicroStation methods for weights, colors, text substitution, etc. Our objective here is very simple. Just click File, Save As, and convert this into a MicroStation TBL. So, for example, we'll just brand this one as the former AutoCAD CTB just so you know what it is, and hit save. We can perform the same process for the AutoCAD STB. So if we close the dialog and hit the ellipsis button here, we can browse and select the AutoCAD STB and select open. We'll check in the newly created AutoCAD CTB that we converted into a MicroStation TBL or pen table. Let's go ahead and check it in. Now we have access to the AutoCAD STB and we'll perform the same process 
for conversion. We'll hit edit and go to file, save as, and we'll rebrand the file with the former handle so that we know what it was. This was the AutoCAD STB, which is now being saved into a MicroStation TBL or pin table. Once we've given it the name we require, AutoCAD STB.TBL, click Save. And now the AutoCAD STB or CTBs can be edited in MicroStation to make the subtle adjustments to line weights and or print priority. Close the dialog, close the print dialog, and check in the AutoCAD STB that's been converted into a MicroStation TBL. This concludes the lesson on how to convert an AutoCAD STB or CTB to a MicroStation TBL. Let's review what you've learned. During this lesson, you've learned how to convert an AutoCAD STB or CTB to a MicroStation TBL. The next video will provide techniques on missing object enablers for AutoCAD DWGs when printing with the iModel Composition Server. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.